Ian Randall, um, we're actually commemorating 25 years of existence this year. And um, we started off as, as purely academic and scholarly publishers. But over the years, we've um, broadened the scope of what we do. And now we're basically, we, we produce a lot of books that we call um, um, general books. In fact, the only books we don't do are children's books. Although, again, you'll find some children's books titles on our list. And um, I would also say perhaps that we're not known for doing poetry, but you'll find some volumes of poetry on our list. Um, really, our focus is on Jamaican and Caribbean history culture. Um, and, um, you know, we publish books, like we publish the best cookbook in Jamaica, The Real Taste of Jamaica, which has been going now since, oh my God, must be almost 20 years and still the outstanding cookbook that is demanded by people all over the world. Um, we do the major history of Jamaica um, and of course lots of other books on Jamaican history. We do books on music. Reggae Roots was one of the first books ever published about Jamaican music by a Jamaican publisher. Published books on art, the late Barry Watson who died recently. We published all his books. Um, and I could go on and what else? We sports. We produce books on sports. So for instance we published the first biography of you say in Bolt. Um, and, and some fascinating books coming out later this year. For instance, the first, well, what, what, what we're going to call the Michael Manley biography, because although books have been written about Michael Manley, none have been written that covers his entire life from birth until death. And what's fascinating about this book, people know about Jamaica in the 1970s and the American involvement. Well, for the first time, State Department papers have become accessible. And so the authors have been able to consult State Department papers to get an insight into American thinking, policy, action as it relates to Michael Manley. Oh, this is going to be a blockbuster, man. <laughs>